the iconic Turbine Hall in Newtown, Johannesburg, in the heart of the city's arts and culture precinct, a fitting venue to launch a campaign that has found the link between the arts and travel. Warrior journey people ever get to the other side, tell them. Brand ambassadors such as poet Natalia Molibati have themselves visited some of the country's hidden gems and will in turn inspire others to do the same. Tandiwe January McLean, SA Tourism CEO, a woman passionate about her country's tourism potential as well as its vibrant arts and culture scene. The new campaign allows her to marry the two passions. The campaign will see some of the country's leading lights in the entertainment and arts industry travel the length and breadth of South Africa. It's all in aid of attracting a new kind of traveller, the youth. Through our revamped short-lived marketing campaign, we are looking to mobilize a new generation of South Africans to explore their own country and have fun with friends while they're at it. The new short lived campaign embodies the spirit of exploration and adventure. In the age of Twitter and Facebook, the campaign is designed to harness the culture of influence prevalent in urban youth culture today. They all have considerable clout in their individual circles, a contagious enthusiasm, and a personality that resonates strongly with the short-lived message of fun with friends. And we are delighted to be working with them on this campaign. It is with great honor that I officially launch the new short-lived campaign, which we are confident will push the boundaries and provide innovation unrivaled in any previous domestic campaigns. Soweto rock band Blackjacks famous for their unusual and uniquely South African sound, went on a similar adventure themselves to the Northern Cape, where they were pleasantly surprised with what they found. Uh, if you look at uh, our career, for the most part, and what we do as a band, I mean, all we want to do is play music. And all I wanted to do when this began was to play music. But a big part of it, a big chunk of it, has been traveling. So we're all over Europe, we've been to Shanghai, we're in America, we're doing road trips, you know. and. Even though that's happening, you know, going just to the Northern Cape here in South Africa was like going to another planet for me, you know, seeing those salt plants, you know, it was very Star Wars, you know, and uh, it was an incredible experience. So I think traveling never gets old. And it's, it's as if to say to people, look, these guys, uh, whether you know or don't know them or what they do, uh, they do do it all the time, and it's and there's still a beauty to it, and it's for everyone. I yeah, think spending time with the Khoisan people around yeah. the fire, you know, frying some meat, you know, uh, yeah, it was it was it was fun, you know, quite an experience, my man. Yeah, I, we've never thought that we'll be able to do that, but thanks to Short Left, yeah, as well, as well, we were learning as well, you know, as uh, as as a band, you know. Pumid Lomo, SA Tourism's Regional Director for Africa and Domestic Tourism. Put simply, Mr. Shot left himself. He's on a mission to make sure that domestic tourism continues to add value to South Africa's GDP. Domestic tourism contributes about 75% in terms of volume of tourism, which makes it very big. Uh, uh, from what we, we, we're getting in South Africa. And number two, because of that, it forms the basis of all tourism um, activity or industry in South Africa in the sense that we do know that people, when they travel from overseas, they come during different times. And yet we've got properties, we've got jobs, we've got activities within the industry that have to be maintained throughout the entire time. And if those are not maintained by people traveling their own country, they will then have a, a situation where people will only be hired during different seasons. And number three, you must also, at this point in time, we're finding that people are not spending money in tourism-related activities. That is why we only contribute about 29 billion from the contribution in terms of monetary terms. However, we want to up that and increase it to um, about 60% of the contribution. That is where then we'll encourage people to take the different activities whilst they are traveling that are tourism-related. Be it a one-day trip, uh, where you go for a day trip, go and have a picnic, go and do different excursions and come back. That also comes towards making sure that you contribute. 
The immediate challenge, therefore, is to hone in on a market that is set for a substantial boom. The campaign also taps into a notion of patriotism that will move people to explore their own country. Now, if you travel your own country, it's not all about your enjoyment only. It's about you showing your patriotism and also demonstrating that you're true South Africans by making sure that you contribute to your own country and contribute towards the well-being of other people and the economy and making sure that uh, South Africa is, is, is also uh, a growing economy and a growing democracy. Although the campaign is officially known as Short Left, travelers are asked to take a turn anywhere because in South Africa, there is no such thing as a wrong turn. I went to a little bit of the Eastern Cape in a place called Rhodes, and I traveled to the Free State at a place called Clarence, and um, I was at Buckley East as well. The Eastern Cape and the Free State, mainly the Free State, was really a beautiful place. I love mountains and I was surrounded by all these mountains. I was surrounded by a very clean um, air, a very clean breeze. Um, I, was, I was surrounded by a, a thinking space, um, a reflective space. Um, and it was really wonderful to discover how big South Africa is and how much South Africa has to offer in very hidden but um, substantial uh, memories that are created on this land. These artists are then using that as testimony to say how have they been inspired. They have been inspired to paint more, they have been inspired to also uh, sing and, and, and come up with different tunes and different things, those that are artists, and also come up with different concepts. That is exactly what travel does. Travel allows you to come up with a uh, refreshed, you come up and then having different experiences, having met different people. And it does, a lot of people also say, you come up having new ideas of business. So because the mind is addressed and then also it's a way of rewarding yourself. So this is exactly why it is different.